Hello, this is Teacher Marge. Today, we will discuss about mathematical word phrases and sentences and how to translate them into algebraic expressions and equations. Be sure to have a pen and a piece of paper so you can write down your answers to the activities that I have included in this lesson video. To start off, let's have this short activity. Can you tell which are expressions and which are equations? You have 10 seconds to identify the expressions and equations in this set. Your time starts now. Time's up. Let's see if you have grouped them correctly. Can you still remember that equations have equal signs while expressions have none? This time, I want you to read the following as simple as possible. Did you say 10 plus 2? How about this one? I'm sure you said 12 minus 8. Let's have another one. If you said... 3 fourths times 30, then you are correct. Try reading this. Well, 56 divided by 16 would be the most common way of reading this. Do you think you can read the following correctly? This one is already a sentence. It is read as 51 equals 3 times 17. Can you tell something about this group? As you can see, all of them are written using symbols. How about those to the right? There is no symbol at all. Therefore, we can say that these are mathematical word phrases and the last one being a sentence. Let's have a closer look at each of these examples. To translate mathematical expressions and equations to word phrases and sentences, it is very important for us to be familiar with clue words or signal words. For addition, plus is the most obvious clue word. But aside from the word plus, there are many clue words that tell us addition should be done, like increased by, combine, and add. If you are using the word add, be careful of how you write the numbers in order. Here we have add 10 and 2, or we can say add 2 to 10. Notice how the numbers are switched? That is because of the word we use to connect the numbers. More than has the same effect of switching the order of the numbers. The phrase the sum of usually requires you to enclose the numbers within a pair of grouping symbols. Other signal words for addition are all, in all, together, total, total number. Let's have subtraction. Well, the minus sign can be read as decreased by or diminished by. Take away from is a signal phrase for subtraction, but the numbers are switched. The difference between and the difference of are two phrases that usually requires enclosing the numbers within a pair of grouping symbols. The phrase subtracted by and subtracted from differs in how the numbers are written. See how they are switched? The order of these numbers depend on the word that comes after subtracted. The same can be observed with less and less than. The numbers are switched as an effect of the word than. Signal words, aside from those already mentioned, are reduced by, deducted, discounted, remain, and left. 
Let's proceed to multiplication. Aside from the word times, we can have the product of and multiply. The signal words doubled and twice both means multiplication by two, whereas tripled and thrice means you have to multiply by three. If you see two or more numbers written consecutively and each is enclosed by a pair of grouping symbols, or you see a constant and a variable written together without an operational symbol, then multiplication is involved. It's because multiplication is the default operation in algebra. Let's move on to division. The quotient of, divide, and the ratio of all refers to division. Other signal words for division are per, for every, each, cut, split, grouped, distributed, shared by, averaged, and packed into. Can you now translate the following word phrases to symbols? You may pause this video to give yourself time to answer the activity. Let's see if you have all of them correct. Have you written the phrases into symbols correctly? Let's try another one. Translate the following word phrases to symbols. Use M for the variable. You can pause this video to give yourself time in answering the activity. Here are the translations for each word phrases. Aside from word phrases, mathematical sentences can be translated to equations. The equal sign can be read as equals. Is equal to, is, is the same as, is equivalent to. Whenever you see any of these signal words for the equal sign, the phrase after any of these word phrases becomes the second part of the equation. And anything that precedes it is the first part of the equation. Now try to translate the following sentences to equations. Use y for the variable. You can pause this video to give yourself time to answer the activity. Let's check your answers. Did you get all correct? You see, mathematical word phrases and sentences can be translated into algebraic expressions and equations. To do this, you must identify signal words or clue words that suggest an operation. It is necessary to familiarize yourself with these signal words or clue words. The order by which numbers and operational symbols are written is very important in translating word phrases or sentences to mathematical expressions or equations. As Bruce Lee has said, practice makes perfect. After a long time of practicing, our work will become natural, skillful, swift, and steady. I hope this lesson video will help you in answering your activities regarding translation. This is Teacher Marge saying, See you next time. God bless and stay safe.